Hi everyone. Let's talk about the drug salbutamol. Now salbutamol is a drug that you will be able to use in the first and second clinical workshop. And it's a drug that is highly common um, throughout ambulance services around the world. Now you've probably read around salbutamol and know all about it um, because it's, uh, it's a very common drug to treat asthma. And in fact, it's that common you can buy it over the counter um, in, in most pharmacies now without a prescription. So salbutamol is a drug that, that, um, that causes wide scale bronchodilation for the asthma patient. Now, when you're administering salbutamol, you need to be aware of the indications and side effects and contraindications as you do with any other drug, just because it's able to, people are able to buy it over the counter. As the paramedic, when you're administering it, you, you really do carry the duty of care for that patient. So what that means is, um, if you arrive on scene at somebody's house and you administer salbutamol, as with any drug, you need to make sure that you're not going against any of the contraindications. Now, when you're assessing and managing an asthma patient, you do have to try and establish what type of asthma is it, what are the triggers, how quickly do you have to administer it, or do they even need um, adrenaline, which is used to treat life-threatening asthma. However, if you need to give salbutamol in the nebulized formula, then you have to use the proper mask. Now, most, most guidelines today, following the Australian, um, Australian and New Zealand Thoracic Society guidelines, really do encourage patients to take their own salbutamol inhalers before you give the nebulized salbutamol because it's a much stronger concentrated dose and you're using um, medical grade oxygen to, to give it, meaning you're gonna have more side effects, including tachycardia. So one of the biggest side effects is a tachycardia because it stimulates those heart receptors. So nebulized salbutamol looks a little bit like this. Now it's slightly come in different packages but this is basically your salbutamol. And as you can see here, it's 2.5 milligram cartons, which is usually reserved for the one, one of these cartons is usually a pediatric dose, but in adults, it's generally speaking five milligrams. So you take two of those together, you twist the top off, it's a fluid substance, and then you insert it into this mask. So as you can hear, see here, you've got a mask, with an acorn type, they call it an acorn, it, um, it, it's a, it looks like an acorn, you twist the top off and you pour the fluid into this container here, put this back on, connect it to the mask, and then you have an oxygen tubing that you connect to the bottom of this that goes into the oxygen, um, medical grade oxygen canister. And then you turn the oxygen on to about five or six liters or until you can get a nice miss in the mask. Now you will be having opportunities to practice that in the workshops. So if you've never seen that before, don't panic. Um, that's it guys. So my name is Sam Willis and I look forward to speaking to you again in the next micro lecture. Take care.